it is finally happening. You won't believe it. Princess is landing. Oh, she's off. Welcome back to the channel once again. So you would not believe it. The Border Leicesters have finally decided they're going to drop a lamb. So hope you enjoy it, guys. If you do, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most of all, I hope you enjoy. We're here. We've got a lamb with big ears. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, Lammy. Oh my god, it's a girl! <laughs> she has a U lamb too! She's oh. a big lammy! It's up! Come on, princess! Good mom. You finally decided to lick it by the looks of it. So we are in at the early hours of the morning and thankfully. She lambed it herself because we didn't see it lambing, did we? No, I saw it before. Literally, I just got a fud on the back of me. <laughs> saying, Will, Will, wake up, wake up. I was like, what's up? She it's lambed. I was like, it's lambed? It seems very lively. I just want to see her lick it. Like, it's not a clean, so obviously it's not going to be the best mother Stop in the world. It. <laughs> We've just put her in a temporary pen in the corner just because we want her to mother up and she gets very stressed. Well, all the boarders seem to get very stressed. So. No, they don't like you. They don't get stressed around me. So basically, I'm going to just quickly check her milk and then we're going to leave her for an hour to try and mother up because whilst we're here, she just seems very stressed. She's got a good bag. Is she? Under all, oh, that all that fit oh, excellent. Claustrum check. Well, wasn't that exuberating? So back to reality now, as we, I'm going to give you a quick catch up on where we are. All of these are going to go out to the field this morning. But unfortunately, we have a sad, sad story. And that is, if you remember, I bought the U in um, with the bad bag that was cold in the last video. So that is this U here. And like a lot of you did say in the comments section, she's got something called black mastitis, which is where basically the circulation of blood cuts off in her bag and literally starts poisoning her from the inside out. We probably kept her alive by put, giving her loads of antibiotics, but she's really starting to waste away now. And we've had to come to the decision the last couple of days that unfortunately she is going to have to be put down. It's just the best for her. And it's kind of really sad because she got two cracking lambs, but... It's not fair on her letting her go through that of being poisoned. I hope you understand that. We also have two U's in adopters. So at the end of the last video, you'll remember we popped this U in adopter with those two lambs. But also, we wet adopted this lamb onto her. Unfortunately, after a couple of days, she didn't like that lamb. So they're in an adopter too. Apart from that, there's no more real updates in the lambing shed, mainly because nothing's actually lambs since the last video. Everything that I've numbered up yesterday tagged put into flock watch and then we're off to put them outside what are you doing <coughs> you've buried her you're buried buddy let's put you there oh, there we are come on let's get up and suck them <coughs> it's a big big lamb looking lively the only annoying thing is she hasn't really licked him too much but yeah she, <coughs> she loves him she's let him go to the tea it's just one of them i guess Right, that is that load all ready to go. They're all in the system. I had a slight malfunction as I couldn't figure out how to turn U lambs into U's on the app, but all sorted. The Flock Watch team is amazing. Soph is just on watch of the board Leicester too, so it's Princess, isn't it? That's Princess. That's the name of what's on. And the lamb has got up suckling. Suckling along very nicely. The only problem we do seem to have is Princess, or as I say, board Leicester, is she's a good enough mum. She's letting it suckle. She's just not. We're used to a clean, and a clean will literally be there pouring at them, trying to get them to yeah. feed, right? The way she is a bit. Princess is just lying there, like. Well, you can, you can feed if you want. You're more welcome to feed, but I'm not going to make you feed. <laughs> that is you, but really good, strong lamb, I'll say that. Yeah. She's yeah. letting it suckle. 
but she's never once actually licked it. Yeah, we got to it this morning, still colored in yellow. Like, she likes it, but she's like, hmm, why would I lick that? Yeah, I'm hoping they're not all like this, so. I know. The venture into Borderlessers. The Borderlessers side, you'll be there like, what the hell is he doing? Saying all these bad things about <laughs> our breed. All loaded, ready for off. Yeah. Yeah. Absolute Let's go, we are dropping these at a different place though. So I can't remember I said it earlier, but because they're ewe lambs, we're dropping them um, in a different place just so we can feed them a little bit different. And also, we want to try and get all the other ewe lambs hep to vac as soon as possible, so we're going to keep these a separate group, meaning we can get them all vaccinated a little bit sooner so we're not waiting for these young ones to get a bit older. All right then, let's get these ladies out, as you can see. Fresh field of grass. We have got two here. So we've got one there, one here. They should be in that field, but there's no water trough, so we're going to let them settle in here for tonight. And then we're going to open the gateway so they can get into both, as there's no water in that field, unfortunately. So they have to go in one or two. Fair load on. Come on, ladies. So it's a mixture of new lambs, ewes that have had mass status, plus one or two normal ewes. Well, I'm happy with that. 14 more ewes out. Finally, some half decent weather. So we've got no rain today. Shouldn't be any rain in the evening or tomorrow. I always like to have two days where there's not too much rain um, to get some out. But yeah, really happy with them. Leave them to it. They'll all pair up, or I should say single, because a lot of them are ewe lines are single. Come back in a bit and make sure all are okay. I bet it's a week since you guys last saw these lambs out here, to be fair. And also, you can tell, starting to go a little bit wetter and muddier. This was like dry as a bone when we moved them through, but now it's a little bit solid. The lambs, they are growing, oh, sorry, they're growing like stink. Just sit down here. These will soon be in for their first wormer and heptavac, which is just mad. The cycle of the year, uh, the year just goes so quick too, like middle of March now. We started lambing these over a month ago now, so a lot of these in here, well, yeah, pretty much all these in here will be at least 10 days, two weeks old. As they get older, obviously, they get a bit hardier and there is less to worry about. So which will oh, just spread out normally now. When the ewes come, the lambs will just go and have a play. Just over here, matter of fact, we all remember the caesarean you, so she's just over here chilling with her lamb. She's looking really well. We will have to do a video when we get the stitches out of her. So if you just come down here, you'll see she's lost the wool, but that is just because of the operation. That silver line on her, don't know how well you can see, but that is where we cut her open and that is the lamb. Doing really well. So that is another success story this year. It's been a year where not a load has gone wrong, but as always at lambing time, stuff does go wrong. And I feel like we've had the most success of sorting problems out this year. I guess it's a learning curve. We've had the sheep for nine years. I'm always learning. And year on year, the sheep just look better. Kind of do with the performance and the breathing of them. But also it's just keeping on top of all those problems. When you've got livestock, you've obviously got dead stock. And as I said at the start of the video, those two ewes, that we saw earlier unfortunately they've now been put down that's farming guys and it's for the best i wouldn't do it if it wasn't for the best but yeah we've had a quick wander around all of these everything looks happy and all okay quick stop back at the use we've given them a couple hours to just pair up they have all just ran over but i'm happy i did look at them as we drove around but all settled down all looking a-okay and the slight bit of a shower that we may have had has held off, so that is a good sign. That little one, you can get up. Can you give me a stretch? Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> oh my god, look how he is now. Oh, you are a good full belly. That is a good sign. Well, what a way to end the day, guys. Lammy is up. He's, he's not he. Jeez. She is suckling. Sophie's here as and now she is in charge. This is her <laughs> flock now. This is out of my restriction zone. So she is in charge with them. I'm just here for guidance when needed. But 
Really great to see. Lamb has got suckling. I was slightly worried early today because, not a lie, she wasn't giving it too much interest, was she? But she doesn't like bother, but as soon as you come over, you get the lamb up, she wants it to suckle, she lets it suckle, no bother at all, so. A great day because it's the start of something very special, isn't it so? Yeah. The... Brookhouse Border Leicester's. The Brookhouse Border Leicester flock has increased by one today. <laughs> and hopefully it's going to increase by another one in the next... 24 hours. Hopefully tonight, please. Yeah, because we're off tomorrow. Well, tomorrow afternoon, we are going for a break. A well-earned break. I just want to say a massive thank you for tuning in today. Really hope you enjoyed it. Another update on the lambing vlogs. And we've still got a fair few to go. Well, we've got 26 left. Thank you for watching, guys. Please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, check the merch store out. Soph hasn't even got any merch Sorry. on. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I am disappointed. It's actually too warm. Yeah, it is. I don't it, need a hat. Yeah, we've um, just come down. It's, it's warmed up tonight. Great for those ewes and lambs that we part early. So, guys, see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.